Hi, my name's Sarah Earle and I lead the TAPS project, Teacher Assessment in Primary Science, and in this video I'll share with you what support's available from the TAPS website. TAPS is, a, is funded by the Primary Science Teaching Trust and based at Bath Spa University. We work with schools, the Primary Science Quality Mark, and the Primary Science Teaching Trust Fellows to develop support for teachers, to balance the key principles of validity, reliability and manageability in assessment and to have a positive effect on learning. On the website there's lots of resources so let me walk you through it. If you go to the Primary Science Teaching Trust website pstt.org.uk under the resources tab you'll find the TAPS materials. There's quite a lot here so let me show you a few bits. In the overview section it, there's an introduction to what it's all about, um, a booklet um, which explains a little more and some videos including a playlist at the bottom which takes you to videos of teachers who've been using it and other things. And then there's the Pyramid tool, a downloadable PDF, interactive um, PDF, which um, I'll walk you through to. Here's one that I downloaded already. So you come to the first page with a bit of information and then if you go to the next page, there's the Pyramid model itself, which is based on um, assessment for learning practices within the classroom and these are summarised for reporting purposes when, need, when needed. Each of these can be used in a couple of ways. You can use them to click on the box and it takes you to examples, for example self-assessment, or maybe you want to look at what ideas for peer assessment, or maybe elicit, how to elicit children's ideas. There's lots and lots of examples in there from real schools around the country. And that's one way that people use this, is a source of ex examples, source of ideas for, for what, what it looks like in the classroom. And this can also support um, understanding of, of what AFL um, strategies can be used in primary science. But beyond primary science too, it could be applied to any subject or any age group. Another way that this can be used is as a self-evaluation tool. So you can decide as a school or as a classroom teacher whether whether your practice is is strong or whether um, it's something you want to develop further or whether it's something that um, you know is going to be an issue for your school and it helps people to self-evaluate where the school is at the moment and which things that they should prioritize because you can't do everything at once so which things um, should be the top of the list shared understanding in science for example or moderating is that something that needs to be developed some schools find this is good to write all over, so there's a black and white version where you can where you can do that. And both of these can be downloaded from the website. So in the TAPS files section, there's the interactive pyramid and there's the black and white one, and then there's other booklets explaining the project too. Something that will hopefully be immediately useful for classroom teachers is our focused assessment, plans and work samples. So here's an overview tab with information about what it is, the fact that it's trying to help you to assess formatively to work out what next steps there are for the children but also can act as information which can be used as a summative assessment too. Again a video to help explain that and some blanks if you want to make your own. And then this is an overview um, which maps all of the plans that we have so far on to different strands of working scientifically for the English national curriculum um, but hopefully for those of you beyond England it's fairly fairly clear where the scientific inquiry skills sit. The focused assessment database section on this tab has all the resources that in, you're listed in year group order so here's year two there's lots of plans for uh, working scientifically investigations where you're trying to assess a particular skill and then there's work samples some working scientifically some concept led the plans are all in word documents so that you can adapt them for your own class so they look like this with the details of the topic etc at the top so a brief outline of the activity some key questions that would be good to ask and then this is the bit that makes them stand out from other lesson plans is that they have assessment indicators what would it look like to have got there and some of them can be used with different, lots of different ages okay and then the, the um, 
there it is there's an example of some work that some children in year two have done and it gives you an idea for what it might look like in that particular topic so again the aim is to give you lots of examples of things that you can use and adapt for your own classrooms and if you want to do a quick search then you can filter these resources so you can find out uh, key stage one plants all in one go and it'll have all the resources listed there for year one or year two if, especially if you teach um, in different year groups different topics so I hope that gave you an overview of what's there and if you'd like to get in touch and find out more information or um, offer some examples of things that you would like you, that you've tried then um, the email address is primary.science at batspa.ac.uk or follow us on Twitter at priceirl and um, we'll be telling you about all the updates and new videos and things like that.